Let's model a wheelbarrow like this for our medieval scene. The reference image to create this is provided, so just follow down the link in the description and we can get started. In Blender, shift A, image, reference, and bring in that reference image. And this is how it's gonna look. I'm gonna press S3 to scale it up and press G to move it so that my 3D cursor is somewhere around this one here. Hope oh, you've got different views to uh, to see the different parts of it. I'm gonna press three to look from the side and pull it back out of the way. Press one to look from the front. So let's start with modeling the wheel. Press Shift A, Mesh, Cylinder, and change that to 16 vertices. RX90 to rotate it, scale it down a little bit, and press G to grab, go into wireframe, and just scale it down a little bit little bit smaller than the complete uh, radius here. Press 3 to look from the side and SY and then just make it a size that you think is reasonable. Something like that is probably okay. Alright, press 3 for face selection and select that face and then hold shift and select that one. Press 1 to look from the front view again and press I to inset and pull in like this. So we have that. And then press Control E, bridge edge loops. Deselect and go back into solid view and we have this. Okay. Press 3 for face selection and hold Shift and Alt and click and select all those faces going all the way around. We're going to duplicate those. Shift D and press, uh, let's just press s to scale hold shift just move it out of the way like that that like that press p and enter and we'll break it out so now we have that as a separate piece and we still have the wheel i'm going to take that one and press h to hide it and let's round this wheel a little bit go back into edit mode press 2 for edge selection shift alt and click all of these edges here control b to bevel pull i'm going to give one subdivision like that, so I have a total of three. Go back into object mode and control one, or come over here for one subdivision. Shade smooth, and double check that our polys are all facing the right way. Alt H will bring back this piece. I'm gonna take this piece and E, Alt S, and pull to give this a little bit of thickness. That's the metal piece. With those still selected, I'm going to press X faces, take the whole thing, S to scale, pull it down until it almost makes contact. We're going to do control one on that uh, to add a subdivision. Uh, and so we'll get this anyhow, but let's take it and scale it just a little bit more so it doesn't push in. So we'll have a piece there uh, for the metal, but we'll put an edge loop in the middle. Control R and control B to bevel, pull, but roll back so you only have two edges and pull them out near, near the ends. And that'll create the metal piece on the outside. Let's make sure we have shade smooth on. Again, double check this. You see that one is red, so we'll select it and Alt N, recalculate outside. Make sure we get that one. Okay, so all our polys are facing the right way. So we're getting the start of our wheel. You want to do the inner stuff, the spokes, spoke type, type stuff. This this stuff here. Okay, we're gonna have a piece of metal, and I'll I'll, have, I'll make this as wood. So uh, you could choose to do it either way. Uh, I want to set my origin right in the middle, so I'm gonna select the wheel. Shift S, cursor is selected. So my 3D cursor is right in the middle now. All right, I'm gonna bring in another cylinder, and I'm gonna scale it down. Rotate X90 and scale it up until it's approximately the right size. So it should be right in the middle. And now this part is a little finicky to figure out how far out. See this stuff here? How far out it should come. So just use your judgment for the moment. I'm going to scale in the Y just a little bit more. And I'm going to go back in object mode and slash key to focus on this. I'm going to go into edit mode and control R and I'm going to put an edge loop there and then control B to split it and I'm just going to bring it out I don't know maybe about halfway let's say and then I'm going to take this end 
and I should even put another edge loop there right in the middle and look from the side so we can mirror this. So I've got an edge loop right there on my 3D cursor. I'm going to go into wireframe, one for vertex selection. I'm going to grab all these vertices and I'm going to delete them and then I'm going to mirror in the Y. I'll turn on clipping as well. So I'll have this. Now I'm going to take this end and I'm going to just press uh, S to scale and come down like this. Let's go back and slash key to bring back our wheel so we can see what we're doing. So we have this. Let's take this piece. Let's go I to inset a little bit to go like that. And then I want wood coming off. Now you can do it as the same piece by extruding and just coming out. And we'll just make this wood and this stuff metal. Okay, so far so good. We can take this end and bevel it. We may need to come out further, so Control B, pull. I'm gonna have one extra segment in there, and I can shade smooth, but I will have to put a couple of more edge loops. So I will, in edge selection, shift alt to click there, Control B, pull. I want a total of three segments. I also want another edge loop up here to tighten this up. So we get a more sharper part right here. All right, so that's probably okay. We could add one more just to sharpen it a little bit more, make it a little bit more defined. And we'll probably, realistically speaking, need an edge loop here to just for the shading. And that's going to be okay there. Just double check it. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. Now we're going to have the spokes attached to this piece right here. So my 3D cursor is right in the middle. And this is what we have, so I'm going to use a plane to create this. Actually, no, I'll use a cube. Edit mode and scale it down, and then just bring it up and continue to scale down until you get the width. And if you get the width, then the the height, width, whatever, should be should be right. Push it down in. Actually, get rid of the bottom face. You might as well. And then we'll push it in. In fact, get rid of the top face too. Take it in edit mode and just push it in so it makes contact. Deselect and then in two edge selection, shift alt and click there. And we're gonna pull this up into the wheel there. So then look at it and decide if you like the thickness. And I don't actually. I'm gonna scale this in the Y, S, Y, thinner like that. Okay, now I'm gonna bevel these edges. Now you could use the bevel modifier. I'm just gonna go ahead and bevel it by hand because I know I'll be applying the bevel anyhow when I do the UVs, so I'm just going to bevel it, control B, pull, and just do like something like that, like keep in mind it's a piece of wood, It's and it's going to have a little bit of a bevel, and this is a fantasy item, I'm going to shade smooth, I'm not going to worry about shading right now, all right, in fact, I might make it a little bit thinner, okay, good enough, my 3D cursor is still right there, so I'm going to go into edit into, I uh, uh, do in object mode, 3D cursor right there, shift D, I'm going to switch to actually to 3D cursor and I'm going to rotate Y 180 and take them and control J. I'm going to join them. Shift D, rotate Y 90 and I'm going to join them. Control J. Shift D, rotate Y 45 and we'll have all of them. So that's how many I want. I guess I've got eight. You could do as many as you want, but that's that's fine like that. Okay, I'm going to join all these together. We'll UV unwrap them uh, together. Okay. I'm just looking at the wheel, trying to decide if it's too thick. Uh, it might be. If, if you wanted to, you could take the whole thing, go into edit mode, and scale it in, scale in the Y, and make it a little narrower. That's fine. So we have the start of our wheelbarrow. We're going to have this arm here, so we could start to create that, and then we'll create this part here. So I'm going to press Shift A, Mesh Plane. I'm going to rotate X90 and start scaling it down. I'll go into wireframe. And I want it to be obviously uh, wider than this middle part, not as wide as the general spoke in the center or whatever, the axle or whatever you call that. Just like this. Now I'm a little bit off the diagram, but you can see this curved part here. All right, so just give it a, a certain amount of, of thickness. Grab this edge. I'm going to start pulling this down here. All right, so this part here I want to curve. All right, it's just a plane right now, or I could 
do that and you can see just the uh, the vertices and that's fine too we're going to bevel that so shift control b not just control b shift control b and pull to sort of match the curve or get a curve you like roll up until you have five points in there and this is what i come up with right there i'm going to move it out in edit mode move it out there so you can see that that if this was a piece of wood this would poke through it somewhat like this all right so we're not exactly on the diagram but we're we're okay let's come back to this end here and uh, just see what we can do here okay so deselect grab those and go back into median point by the way so i'm right here and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to press e to extrude and i'm going to come out to about there and i'm going to press s to scale and I'm going to pull this down and I'm going to do that okay uh, we'll give that a bit of a curve later so let's now give this some thickness I'll go back in a solid view here and you can do this in with solidify or you can just extrude out and say okay I want my wood to be about maybe that thick let's say you think that's good enough okay select it all alt and recalculate outside just in case so you don't have to continually do that okay now we're going to bevel this by hand shift alt and click these edges and you have to come down here and get all of them so i've got that and i like to do it up look up here okay so let's bevel this Control b pull i don't want too many segments i'm probably okay there's a chamfer one more that's probably just fine for what we're going to do. And we'll come down to this end as well. And just grab this edge and control B. Just don't pull too much so that the, the edges don't cross. Do that. And then if you want to, you can come in here and edge selection. Grab there. Control B and pull. Just pull it out a bit and give maybe a total of five segments. Just to round it. Make it a little bit nicer looking. All right. We can still change the thickness of this if we need. And yeah we could mirror this to the other side i suppose so let's just take this the 3d cursor should still be right there mirror let's go in the y and we have the start of our wheelbarrow how are we looking now we're looking pretty good okay now to do this piece uh it's a number of pieces actually it's a side piece that's curved probably make that first and then in front of it there are like logs and just one straight piece so let's look at this and say, okay, I'm going to use a, cur uh, a plane. I'm going to rotate X90, scale it a bit, press G, pull it over, S. Let's go into wireframe. And I'm just going to pull it up, and it's going to uh, rest on the arms here. So, you know, have it something like this and pull it forward. This piece is the front piece, and then those are the logs. So have it around there. Take this edge, pull it down. Take this edge and pull it out to the end, and we'll just curve it there. All right, press, there you get that vertex. It's a single vertex, all right? So we're going to shift control B and pull, and I want five vertices again, like that. I'm going to pull this out to here and I'll give it some thickness and I don't really know how much thickness it you can make it the exact you know width of the arms if you want we could start with that I suppose E to extrude and pull in something like something like that it would probably be okay just imagine it as a piece of wood sitting there and uh, yeah now we could try uh, first of all just looking at this yeah Alt N, recalculate outside, and we could try a bevel modifier and see how that does. Uh, we're going to, I'll try 0 0.01, and then I'll probably go smaller than that. So I'm just going to hold Shift and pull to the left slowly, you know, just to give it a little bit of a bevel. Uh, we could shade smooth this, and for shading issues, we, we'll join it together at some point. But I'll put on weighted normal, and normal's auto smooth. And it should look okay. I'm just, I may want more of a bevel than that, to be quite honest with you. Uh, where am I here? I don't know. 
I like it a little bit softer. Might be might seem strange for wood though. I don't know. Uh, let's try. Um, let's try just to mirror this and see how we like that and how it's coming along. All right, so let's put this straight piece. Actually, what you're looking at here is a piece of metal that would go over the straight piece. Let's see if there's any way to see it. Not really. Okay, this piece of metal comes down over it. But anyways, it's just a piece of wood that would be there. 3D cursor's right in the middle, so mesh plane. Let's rotate Y90 this time, stand it up, and pull it in. Uh, how should we look? Three, maybe? Let's SY. And I just want to think. I'm going to grab these ones and pull them down to about the same height. And I'll grab these ones and pull it up just to under there. I just want to decide. Do I want that inside these outside? I think it goes outside. I'm just going to pull it to there. And I'm going to E to extrude. Pull it out a similar thickness. I think that's how it's going to go. So on here I have a mirror and I have this stuff. Uh, let's see if I hide the mirror. If I take this and then shift alt and click there and control L copy modifiers uh, on this, I get the I get the hidden mirror, but I just want the bevel. So I, I now have copied. I have that the bevel on there as well. Okay, so we wanted that. We got that rounded. All right, let's do the bottom that actually does the carrying, which is this stuff here. And then we'll do those logs. Okay, so let's look from the top this time and bring in another plane. Scale it down and slide it under. And this, let me grab that. Uh, let's see. Let's pull it up and have it go just fit inside here. So let's scale it in the Y until we start to see it. And then hold shift and pull back, something like that. And you could get as exact as you want. I'm going to pull it forward so it sort of just fits in there. And I'm going to take these ends and I'm going to pull them down until they pretty much hit the end. They won't make planks out of this. So that's probably okay. So let's do the planks. So. Control R and roll your mouse up till you have as many planks as you want. I'm going to go for four like that and Then I'm going to control R on the side and put maybe three so I can bend these All right, and just like I've done in some of the other uh, medieval videos I'm going to select here and press control select here and control and then I'm going to press Y and G So those are separated a to select everything. I'm going to come into uh, individual origins and look down from the top and I'm going to press SY and I'm going to pull in and that's going to separate them. I don't want to separate them too much so I'm holding shift. I just want a little gap so it seems like planks of wood. I'm going to go back into median point and two for edge selection and select an edge. And then I'm going to switch over to um, proportional editing random. And probably I should just focus on this so let's do that. Slash key. It makes it a little bit easier to see what we're doing. And I don't want to go too extreme. I'm going to pull up a little bit and I can scroll my mouse to have less of an influence. So I just want a little bit and grab this one, maybe pull down a little bit. And this one, maybe pull up. And maybe this one, pull down just a small amount. And then I'm going to turn off that. And then you might want to change the length of these. You might not. I'm just going to nudge these um, a, a little bit uneven and I don't even know if it's worth it I, I won't do the other end uh, in fact I'm going to come back to have a look at that all right I don't know how noticeable that's going to be but uh, now we'll give this some thickness so we'll add uh, solidify this time all right just two different ways you can come up or you can come down uh, if I come up then I'm in the same orientation, I guess, or sort of filling up the middle of that box. I'll do a similar thickness as that other stuff. And then I'm going to add a bevel and I'll do 0 0.01. I'll start with that and then I'll, I'll pull it back still a little bit and, and have that. And then it's up to you if you want to push them closer. If you do, you just go into edit mode 
and um, go back into individual origins and SY and this time pull and I'll squeeze them together just you don't have too much overlap all right anyways that looks fine um, I'm going to control a and apply this solidify but I haven't been applying the bevel yet to anything so except things that I, I did uh, you know manually like that thing all right so we've got that so far and now what we want to do is we want to put a piece of metal that would hold uh, this a little bit and, and sort of cover up some of the gap. So uh, what I think I'll do is I'll come in here and because I didn't bevel this by hand, I just used the bevel modifier, I can select this face here and use it and there's no sort of edges on it. Well, there's this, the left and the right edge, but I don't have like three on each side to deal with. Shift D to duplicate it, pull it up. And it's already got the bevel modifier, so that's kind of good. I just want to see how this how this is supposed to go. Um, I guess uh, I don't know. All right, let's just do some. Uh, no, okay, I see. Yeah, I'm uh, gonna make a small design change uh, in just a second. But first of all, let's select these edges here and just uh, extrude them down. So I've got this. Don't worry about any of the size. Yeah, let's pull it down now. So the idea is that this piece is going to you know, hold on to something. Well, we don't want it just to hold on to this. We want it to hold on to these pieces as well. So what I'm getting at is, let's hide that, is this piece here is actually going to go on the inside of these. So I'm going to take this. Ah, I'm going to look from the top. And I'm going to scale this in the Y. I'm going to hold Shift. Ah, you don't even have to. I just want to get it to that size, roughly, so that these pieces I can select here. And I think this is mirrored, so I select that face. I can pull it out like that. And it really doesn't matter how you design this, but that just means that when I bring that back, this piece would cover up the awkwardness of that joint. And it's good to have some weird pieces fitting strangely, because I mean, it's mostly pieces of wood anyhow. And it'll look better. All right, grab uh, these edges here, and let's actually use the diagram for a change here. And let's pull them down. Um, I've got them coming down. Oh, what have I done here? I can't, I'm off. Uh, where am I? I've got them coming down past the handle. I just thought that was odd for a second. I don't know why uh, I, I did. So uh, anyhow, that's okay. Uh, let's shift alt and click this edge and, and, and thicken it out a little bit. And we'll have that. We're gonna have to come down anyhow on both sides. Um, so yeah, yeah, aren't we? No, I think we're just gonna give this some thickness. Let's start doing that. Uh, let's leave all this stuff. Let's go to solidify. And we could go in or out. I'm gonna go in like this. And just imagine it's a piece of metal. You know, I don't know, something like that. That's all right. All right, I'm gonna drag that to the top, see if it makes any change. And it did a little bit. And to tell you the truth, the bevel is confusing me, so I'm gonna shut it off for the moment and just look at it and say, yeah, that actually looks good. In fact, I'm gonna get rid of the bevel. I wanna bevel this by hand, do I? I think I'd probably do. So I'm going to apply the solidify. Let's double check our face. Oh, this guy. All right, behave. Oh, not there. All right, so this piece is coming down like that and okay yeah so let's do this let's go ahead and let's make these rounded control b and just do whatever you want i'm gonna have five segments in there and you might want to round here yeah i i think it would look a little bit better so let's grab these edges and grab the other edges as well right there and let's do that, shall we? And I'm not even looking at the diagram. Just do, do that, and then shift alt and click the inside and the outside edges. Hmm. Make it a bit bigger, I suppose. Shift alt and click all these edges. And just make sure you get everybody. And down here too. Yeah. 
And then I'm going to zoom in here and look. Because if it looks okay here, it's going to look good anywhere. Pull, I don't need too many. So roll back. There's the two. One more is fine. And let's just look at this whole thing and see if we need to just S the scale. Well, it never hurts, I suppose. A tiny bit. Okay, if you want now, we can shade smooth. We've got that, so we can do that, and we're good. Just a question of, does it need to come back a little bit? Nah, not really. Uh, how off the diagram are we? Eh, sort of, yes and no. Okay, now, uh, I need to switch to the cavity shader on and shadow so that I can start seeing what I'm doing a little bit better. I'm going to switch to both, and I'll pull these all up. And now I'm happy with that. As I look at this now, this looks sort of massive, this wheel. So I'm now going to come in here and grab these. And I'm going to scale in the Y. Just making sure that my spokes don't stick through. In fact, I'm going to select them and I'm going to scale them in the Y. Even though I've already beveled them, that's, you know, there that, that should be okay still. All right, I'm a little bit happier with that. In fact, maybe you do want a thick wheel, I don't know. Um, we've got that piece, we've got those going on, so we're going to do the little clips on the side here. Let's go into wireframe, these things here. So just bring in a plane, rotate X90, scale it down, G, move it over, scale it till you get the width, SY, scale it till you get the height that you like. Go back into solid view, pull it out so it's actually at the side. And you can just uh, grab these edges here, extrude them in. Actually, you better do that properly. Extrude them in, take the whole thing and pull it in a bit. And look it over and say, I think that looks too wide to me. I'd like to scale that in the Z and I just think it would look a little bit better. And then now, any method that you want to give it some thickness. Um, let's try recalculating outside E and Alt S and say pull this time. Let's do it that way. That doesn't always give you an even way to do it, so we can compare that <laughs> with solidify and see if we like it better and even thickness. And that sort of solves it. Keep in mind it's a piece of metal, so not too thick and not too thick and not too thin. Nah. Uh, turn that into a four and call it even okay control a to apply that and let's round these here and then bevel the whole darn thing control b pull three or five um actually before we do this let's slash key and let's get rid of these faces which won't be seen Slash key to bring it back and then just think for a second now. Um, I think I'm going to want that kind of like that. So it's, it, it doesn't, I want to cast a shadow on it if possible. Uh, and, you know, you can have it as, as flush as you want. That's probably okay right there. And then shift alt and click the edges, top and bottom. Uh, just delicately bevel this thing, delicately. Control B. There we go. Uh, shade smooth. We could cut these smaller if you want to, but I don't know. Uh, weighted normal and I'll smooth. And this doesn't seem quite centered. Okay, so we have that. Uh, let's uh, mirror that. But before, let's just check it though. Yeah, okay. I don't want to mirror you if you're not in good shape. And by the way, Okay, you can make these even with the, the, the bottom of the tire so it's just flat, but I want them longer so that the, the, the wheelbarrow would, you know, sit like this on the ground. All right, and then you just lift it up just a little bit and you roll up it. I've seen different, different styles of these, so. Okay, uh, rotate X90, G, S, G, S, grab there, pull down, S, got it, pull.
pull it out to the side, go back into solid view, and give it some thickness. And I'm going to go for a similar thickness to the handle. So just do your thing. Something like that is just going to be fine. I'm going to leave the faces there, and I'm going to bevel this uh, by hand. So shift alt and click these edges. Control B, I want three. And I'm going to do the same thing on the top. Shift Alt and click there. Shift Alt and click there. Can, can, do I want these sharper? No. Control B. I'll leave it the same. Same width. There it is. Pull it in. Okay. And it would be bolted on there. We'll look at that in a second. Okay. I've got another clip. Good. I can reuse this thing. Look from the side, go into edit mode, shift D, pull it. And this one uh, is thicker, so we'll pull that out like this. Yeah, okay. We'll pull this one out. Period key to zoom in. Uh, pull it a little bit closer. And then we're going to have to grab these edges. So I'm going to go into wireframe and look from the end there and just uh, control B I don't want the other one though just that one there and I'm gonna pull that in so it makes contact and I have another clip holding that potentially okay so is that good yeah that's good okay uh, 3d cursor still there so I'm going to mirror this in the Y and the clips are already there now there are other pieces you could put on here uh, as well other wires and stuff and things underneath I'm not going to do that we'll just finish up with a few bolts and we'll get to the texturing in the next video so uh, circle maybe eight vertices this time I don't know rotate x90 G scale have to make a face solid view and pull it out period key to zoom in e to extrude just gesture back a bit x faces select that face bend that in a little bit and control b and do that pull the whole thing in until it makes contact alt n recalculate outside that that way we know for sure you can shade smooth and shift D G put put another one there put them wherever you want wherever you think you would need them uh, that one is yeah I'm gonna go into edit mode and select a bit of that control L and I'm gonna pull it in until it makes contact there as well so I've got that one and I've got that one as two separate ones, huh? All right, well, let's take these and let's join. Let, let's just join them, control J, and set the origin to the 3D cursor and then mirror in the Y. And we've got them on the other side as well. Uh, didn't quite work, did it? Did it work? Yes, it did. Yes, it did, what was I saying? Double check everybody, nah, these nasty things. Okay, there we go. Okay, the logs. Yes, the logs. Let's not forget those. Uh, and they're just to sort of held, hold, hold these parts together. Not held, hold. Okay. Um, cylinder. I'll use the same values. Scale. G. I'm going to pull it into somewhere here. Uh, I just have to think about this again. But I know that I'm going to be cutting them uh, in half. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to look from the front, go into wireframe, and go into one vertex selection. I'm going to get rid of all this back stuff. So I have just this half right there like that. And I can go ahead and select this top edge and have to make a face. And I can do that in the bottom as well. Uh, I'm going to pull this in. And then I'm going to grab the top. And and pull it out until it's about there might want to extend the metal and so it goes over there we'll see 
And I think the way I want this is to have this face sort of resting on the arm a little bit. So it looks like it's just sort of on there. Yeah, I think like that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to bevel this. Uh, right here, I'm going to select the top and the bottom. And just go easy with the bevel because we're going to be uh, putting textures on this. So there's that one more. And that's it. And shade smooth. And it should be okay. Yeah. Okay. And let's mirror that to the other side. And just double check that that's how I want it resting on there. I do have a front view. It's resting. It's on the inside of the arm pretty much, but it just touches there. And you're actually here. You see it does does go over the front the front pieces there a little bit so let's do that a little bit go into edit mode and just just nudge it over to there and that is that okay so let's hide that and let's have a look with another matte cap or two and we'll shut this off I want to double check. Uh, for this, I'm just going to leave it as it is uh, the, with the mirror and, and some modifiers here, but I'll just go ahead and do that and just have a look around. And then that's it. So it's, it's very simple, but I mean, you know, it's just in your scene probably somewhere. Uh, again, I haven't uh, shade smoothed everything, so I probably would do that and do the weighted normal and the auto smooth and uh, you can look and see if anything else is not but you could decide if you want two subdivisions on that if you even cared um, yeah okay on well, this one here maybe not shade smooth yet yeah okay I think I got everything. I might, maybe I didn't. I don't know. But that's the general modeling of the wheelbarrow. And in the next video, we'll I'll try to find some wood that that uh, is available to you. Uh, I'm using some other stuff that I got, but I'll try to find some wood and some metal so we can uh, make it look uh, the same. All right. Thanks for watching.